we're gonna do some swimming. I like how the monkeys don't get tired from swimming. Hey, we're already back here. Uh oh. Stalagmites. Ow. See, they just randomly appear. That's how annoying they are. Wait, whose banana is that? Oh, Diddy Kongs. I'm wondering how you would get that. Oh, rocket barrel. I'm gonna need those crystal coconuts for later. Ow. Whoa, what the? Something else I'll say about this level. This is probably the most easiest level to get lost on. See, I'm already back here, and I don't even know how I got back here. It's just so easy to get lost, because there's all these little nooks and crannies. That's right, I used the phrase nooks and crannies. And it's just so hard to tell where you are. Like, I mean, I know people who, like, think they're at the igloo place, but they're actually on the other side of the map. That's how easy it is to get lost here. There we go. Candy Kong. Upgrade one. What? Oh. Hey, seven coins that give you a new extra melon to help you longer and then upgrade their weapon or whatever. Whatever, we have a third melon now. I think that was the music upgrade from, uh... That was the music upgrade from Gloomy Galleon that I, did, I didn't get. The first thing I bought. Yeah. I'm not good at talking for a long time if you haven't told, if you couldn't tell from these videos. I'm not the best impromptu speaker. Even though I got an A in my public speaking class at Ball State, I'm still not the best at it. So, I have no idea what to do. Wait, that's a, that's a barrel, isn't it? A banana barrel. It is. That's for Diddy Kong, though. Gentlemen, gentlemen, if I could say a few words, I'd be a better public speaker. Okay. There we go.
Catch. Catch. I said catch. That's it. How is that not hitting you? Well, I hit him with my last orange. Yay. And what? See, I'm not sure if I want to get the Diddy Banana just yet. Because you need a lot of crystal coconuts. And oranges, now that I think about it. Oh, wait. I'll do it anyways. It's not this one, it's this one. No, it's not that one. It's the one at the top. Banana port 5. That's going to be an important banana port later on. You'll see why. Actually, it might not be. I'm, I'm going to be thinking of something else. Ow! Didn't even give me a chance to do my shockwave move. Okay, first thing you have to do is kill these guys. When you do, a Diddy Pad will appear. And when you use the Diddy Pad... Wait, hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's up there. Now, you have to light these candles, which is very easy. Just touch the bananas and you've basically lit the candle. And don't fall. get that banana, a banana fairy appears to us. No! Wrong move! Maybe that'll entice the banana fairy to stay put. I can't even see how there it is. And remember what happens when we get a banana fairy? She increases all of our stats. So now we can go back and do the other one, which is, I think, harder. Since you have a time limit. So we basically have to kill all of these enemies in a time limit. It's very simple though. Oh crap, I fell. Don't worry, don't worry, I still have time, I still have time. 
Keep telling you, keep telling yourself that. You have time. Is that it? Nope. Or that is. If you didn't do it in time, the same crosshairs from the angry Aztec five door temple will go, get out, and then you have to like, get out in a certain amount of time. But not me, I did it in time. 